Welcome back to the show. Don't adjust your set. Yes, I am sitting on the throne because we are talking bathroom bazaar on this particular show. And the question really is, if you have the choice over bathing or showering, which would it be? Siobhan, you're in our bath. What do you prefer, shower or bath? Definitely bath. A bath. Yeah. And why? Um, I think it's the best way to block everybody else out and just relax. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason, I think. Eh? Can't argue with that. Well, it is more a matter of personal preference than medical fact, but my preference, Siobhan, is actually a shower. And let me tell you why. A couple of things. Firstly, they're fast. Theoretically, you can be in and out of the shower in a couple of minutes. And I like that. A bath, you know, just... In fact, you can be in and out of, in and out of a shower before the bath is actually filled. Mm. So that's a big thing for me. They're effective. Showers allow you to wash and rinse. Where baths allow you to wash, but you can't really rinse off the soap and the dirt. Something to think about. They're also environmentally friendly. Five minutes under the spray uses only 40 litres of water versus the average 80 litres for a full bathtub. Of course, if you shower for 10 minutes, you undo all that good. But the amount of water used also has an impact on the amount of energy needed to heat it. So if you're using more, or you're going to use more electricity when you use a bath, which is great. You can use hot and cold water for hydrotherapy. Did you know that? No. <laughs> in fact, I, I occasionally do this, not often, and definitely not in winter. But if you turn on the cold water, and give yourself that shock of cold water and put the hot back on again. Uh, it's wonderful for relieving muscular tension uh, and it's a great way just to invigorate the body. So mm -hmm. you can do that in a shower, you can't do that in a bath. So I'd pick a shower over a bath every time, but that healthy habit may not be as healthy as it appears. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. Many dermatologists are suggesting that people wash far too much. The modern preoccupation with personal hygiene could be to the detriment of our skin. In fact, using piping hot water combined with harsh soaps can strip the skin of its oils, resulting in dryness, cracking, and even infections. So if you simply must shower every day, use cooler water and a soap-free shower gel or aqueous cream. You've got aqueous cream, I'm sure, Siobhan. <laughs> yeah. So on average, most people spend around three years of their life in the bathroom. Like, that would be a great way to spend it, Siobhan, blocking people out. Uh, I know my sister would have spent even more than that, uh, so it's worth making sure it's as healthy an environment as possible. I want to live the best life.